Hello and welcome along to episode 4 of this FM21 mobile mini-series with Ballamini United. We're back in Northern Ireland after a success with Cliftonville in FM20. And today we've got two more big games away against Larn, the money bags, the professional side. And then at home against Cliftonville, the side that we managed to suck success last year. But let's be honest, after a pretty average start to the season, we're in 6th place just inside the top half, just above where we'd expect to be at this point. But there is something interesting that you can probably notice already has been happening in the game since the last episode. So if you are looking forward to this one and enjoying the series, please do put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below and turn that notification bell on. You'll get alerts as daily videos release from the full game with our head coach series and our build a nation with Bangor City rotating. And then of course two live streams a week as well, as well as this mini series for the next few days. But before we get into the two games today, let me just go and show you the results because there have been some pretty interesting moments in terms of fixtures. Now, you were with me last time for the two thrilling games against Linfield and Glenarvan, and we talked about there being a few too many goals in the game. But since then, all we've done in nearly half of our games is draw 0-0 and draw blanks on the attacking side as well. So a disappointing 0-0 at home to Carrick, followed by a 3-1 defeat at Coleraine, Curtis Allen bagging them again. A 3-2 win at Annie United away in the Bet McLean League Cup. Jim Irving with the winning goal from the penalty spot there. A 2-1 victory away at Porterdown in the league. I will show you as Kefair Friel got back with a brace in that one. And then of course at Glentoran at home, a 0-0 draw. Probably not a bad result against one of the bigger sides in the league. But for a penalty win after a 0-0 draw against Nuri and a 1-0 defeat away at Crusaders, another one of those professional sides. So not really in bad shape going into the winter period. We've got Larn and Cliftonville just four days apart, and then a must-win at home to Warren Point. So let's go and get straight into those two games today. Big moment in the series, and let's see if we can get out on top, shall we? Firstly, away at Larn is going to be difficult. They're professional, they're top of the league, they're battering Linfield at the moment as well. But let me go and show you the tactical screen so you can see how we line up for this one. McElroy playing off the right-hand side. McMenamin over on the left again. That is because Kirk Miller has been out injured. He was coming back from it and he is just nearly there physically, as you can see. Probably about 80-90% condition. So he'll be back for the Cliftonville game. But aside from that, it's our regular first 11. The current abilities are all over the place for the team. But this is the strongest lineup we've got in my eyes. And it's the one we're going to use. So let's go and get into the first game today and see if we can get a result. As Larn line up with a very good side. Connor McKendry off the left wing. They've got Connor Devlin in goal. The likes of McMurray and Hale up front. This time former Blackpool man Elliot Grondin on the right wing. Mark Randall's there in the middle. It is such a good team. So let's see how we get on in the first half. As the ball's up with Mitchell at right back. He comes across halfway to Grandin. Time on the ball out there. Tries to get to the byline, but it's intercepted. Into the box eventually. Hale flicks on. I'll show away to Randall. And he just about puts it wide of the post. It was a nervy first minute there, but we just about survive it. And we're back again as Dowling nicks the ball high up on the counter-attack. Finds McMenamin on the left to McCartan. To Friel. Out to McElroy on the right. Cutting inside didn't really help there. He finds Dowling to Klukas. McElroy to Dowling, McCarter, McElroy, great football, no end product, and now it's given away, Osho wins it back though, and it's been a good first 15 minutes, we've not been getting out class since we tweaked the tactic, but we haven't changed it since the last episode, the goals have just dried up at both ends, McMenamin gets in there, his shot's well saved, and it looks like this is going to be an end-to-end -end one, a lot more shots and clear chances than we've seen in recent matches, as Dowling brings it away, 20 on the clock, and it remains goalless here at Larn. Not a bad start to our afternoon. We'd have taken this at the start. And just 10 minutes to the break now as they're really up in the tempo here. Randall to Rose. Wide to McKendry on the left. Into the box to Ronan Hale. And just like the Linfield game, there's only so long you can hold out. Larn lead 1-0 against Balamina. And now it's damage limitation yet again. Half time. We trail 1-0. No clear-cut chances, not many shots at all, to be honest. Normally, we'd be quite happy with this as an away day. Unfortunately, because we let in that late first-half goal, it looks a poor one. But it's not been a bad performance, and we'll give it till about 20 to go. And unless we go really for downhill when we start conceding goals, we probably won't make any changes till then. Five minutes gone in the second half. Dowling finds McMenamin on the left to McCartan. Time on the ball. Rose fouls him. Gets the yellow card there. Thought it might be a bit more for a second, given the way the highlight transpired. But as it stands, we've still got it in the middle. 
It's a free kick with Dowling. Taking it on the edge of the centre circle. And we've got to create something. Set piece, our best chance. Into free and it's saved. And the rebound's over the top. Thankfully, the flag is up to spare the blushes. Because if we'd have lost the game by not finishing that open goal, I probably would have been quite upset. But as it is, it remains 1-0. And Lahn have a free kick on the edge of their own box. And we're back again. Highlights coming thick and fast now as Dowling picked it up to Klukas. In towards Friel to McCartan. That is a wonderful goal. Great short interchanging, sharp, quick football. And we deserve that equaliser on the second half so far. It's been a good match, a good performance. And McCartan's starting to come to the party. 25 minutes on the clock. We're getting towards that point. Stick or twist. But not just yet, as Randall finds Hale. Oh, he's hit the woodwork. It's a great effort. McElroy trying to get on the counter, but it's over here. It remains 1-1, but only just. Just over 15 minutes to go. We've made three changes. Wade coming on on the right wing. In central midfield, Leroy Miller. And then we've brought on the right back, Doyle. Or Boyle as well, sorry. Just to try and be a bit more defensively astute. But it looks like we're doing quite well here. Quite often we do lose these games late on, particularly against the professional sides. Of course, that's what they've got, that extra firepower, that extra fitness. But with five to go, we're doing our best. And this would be an incredible point away at the champions elect, as it looks at the moment. Three minutes plus stoppage time to go. Can we hold on? That's the big question. 94 minutes played. We must be getting the final whistle any second. Bauma loses it. Redmond not there. Grandin's in. It's a great save by O'Brien. Why have we played a minute over already? Why is the whistle not gone? We have to hold on here. It's been a brilliant performance. And it is all over. Lan won. Balamini United won. A fantastic result for Balamina. A fantastic result for us. And maybe it will keep us in the top half. It doesn't do that. We drop to seventh, but a really good point regardless. And we go to Cliftonville. There's heroes of this channel from FM20. And let's see if we can go and shock them, shall we? Well, basically everyone fit for this one. McMenamin can't play against his parent club. Kirk Miller back to fitness. He's in. That's why we rested him at the weekend. McElroy switches back over to the left. This is the chance for Balamina to shock the former club. The club we managed in FM20 to such a plomb. And it could be a difficult moment for the channel this. Aaron Donnelly out injured for them. But still the likes of McDermott, Bagnall, McCrudden and Gormley up top. They've got real quality in that side. So let's see how the first half unfolds. McGrory at right back. Into Sean and Klukas. Time on the ball. Tries to switch it. McElroy won't get there though. And it falls for Balmer. He's now being tutored by Jim Irvin. The absolute legend and leader at the club. He's into Friel though early on. Down to McCartan. And if those front two can build that partnership, we could be on for something special. We've got a couple of new deals in, the likes of Freel has signed one. It's just McCartan, who we haven't tied down yet. So we'll have another go over the winter break, but hopefully he'll be here for the long haul. As Dowling gives it to Freel in the middle. Chance to go left, into McCartan. Oh, it's a lovely finish, right on cue. Kefair Freel in, McCartan finishes. A beauty as he opened his body up from 25. And it's 1-0 after just two minutes here. And Balamina at the showgrounds, making it look fantastic. And we've got another ball on the left. It's a corner headed away. Millar will get there to Osho. Just don't want to give it away here. Klukas challenged and he wins the free kick. Definitely a foul. He was sort of sandwiched by two there. And we talked about him the other day. He's a good player. He's got bite in the middle. Bit of a hothead though. As Miller has a go from 30 yards to Klukas. And it's saved by Dunn. Brilliant goalkeeping. O'Reilly gets it at the back. Dunn clears downfield. It's been a good start for Balamina as Millar comes forward on the right to McCartan. Into Friel, has to score, does score. So clinical one-on-one. -on -one. Kefair Friel with the goal. I still can't pronounce his name. I know a lot of you have said it in the comments, but I'm recording this just after, so I've not got through them yet. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your help with it. And I've told you a long time ago on this channel, pronunciations is definitely my kryptonite. 15 minutes to the break, 2-0 Balamina. And can we have our first really comfortable win of the season? Here we are again then, five minutes to half time. Joe Gormley flicks on a long ball and O'Connor's going to get there. On the left into Gormley again. Too much time there, too much time. It hits the woodwork and it's cleared downfield. That is not what we want to give Joe Gormley. The last thing he needs as a natural poacher is five yards on the ball at the edge of the box. It looks like, though, we're almost at the break. And Cliftonville are really throwing themselves at it. McDermott over on the left. Crosses into Balmer. Headed to O'Connor, who scores. It is a brilliant strike. A wonderful summer signing for them in real life. And he's put them back in the game. 2-1 to Balamina. And no comfortable home win today. 
as we've got a free kick on the left-hand side of the box again, though. Can we restore the two-goal lead before the break? Dowling takes it. Headed away as far as Redmond. Falls to McCartan. Brilliant save by Dunn. Hoofed away by O'Connor. And at half-time, it is 2-1 to the hosts. Probably expected better after the start. But we'll take it. It's still a lead against the side expected to finish above us. Into the second half we go. Let's hope we can keep ourselves ahead. We're back just a minute into the second half. Dowling picks it up in midfield to McCartan. We'd love to restore the lead and it has been done. Friel gets in behind a lovely clip ball from Dowling. Friel heads over the keeper in for 3-1. Exactly what we wanted to start the half. The halftime team talk out the window for Cliftonville because they've already let it slip. And now we've just got to hold the two goal lead again. And as we're back again, five minutes into the half, Foster clears downfield. And where has the defence gone? Gormley's got in and scored. There is no player in our own half. There is no player within 10 yards. I've said it already in this series before. And no matter what you do, it happens. It's that Istanbul goal against Manchester United all over again. And the problem I have in this save is it seems to be related to how you play in terms of control, balanced, etc. But you should be able to control a game with a normal defensive line without them going halfway in the opposition's half, surely. You would have thought so anyway. But Cliftonville have got the ball at the back as Dunn clears downfield. And this is starting to become difficult for us. McCartan picks it up for Miller on the right. Chance to get to the byline. Delivers in for Friel. And he completes the hat trick. No, he doesn't. It's a Gary Breen own goal. A man we let go early in the save in FM20. And he has just about wrapped this game up for us, I think. We'll try not to concede from the kickoff or thereabouts this time. But with 15 to go, let's make some changes. Well, into stoppage time. A pretty dull finish in truth. We've got a corner kick as the fourth minute is being played. Three subs made. Winchester's one of them. McGrory gets to the second ball and it's cleared long downfield. But that is it. A 4-2 Balamina win. The goals are back at home at the showgrounds. And a fantastic result for the home side. And that surely takes us back to the top half. Let's go and have a look at the schedule for when we'll next be back as we do go up to fifth place in the league table. And ironically, just four points off the top. Larn lost again after their draw against us. We're level on points with Dungannon up in fourth. Just two behind Cliftonville now. And where on earth are Linfield? They are in 10th place on 14. So they're on 10th place, but they're only two points behind us. Carrick and Warren Point look like stragglers at the bottom. But aside from that, that is a very tight league. So you can just half see at the top of the screen, our next game is against Warren Point. Now, unless we get any big cup games, I'm going to try and get through this busy, hectic winter schedule. And we're going to try and come back towards the end of the January window. We showed the big games against Larn and Cliftonville today. So the next one will be Glen Torren and Crusaders. So if you're looking forward to that one and you did enjoy that double header, please do put a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell. This one will be back tomorrow at 5.30. We've got daily episodes at half three from the full game. Our two long-term stories, the head coach and with Bangor City and two live streams a week so please do turn that notification bell on you'll get alerts every single time we go live and every time a video is out too thank you again for your incredible support it really is appreciated you can catch up with various podcast interviews in the eye above in every episode there's one link into a different name from this save but thank you very much for watching as always and i'll see you next time for more big action with balamina